Hello everyone, it is Erin Flutter here and I am here from the Archer and Olive Ambassador team and I am here to talk about 10 bullet journal spreads to help you create a morning routine. So I am using some Archer and Olive Calliographs. I am using the Calliograph in the pink and in the berry mist. I am also using a few of the summer collection washi tape from the previous year. Uh, so I think that was 2022 summer collection. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. The first spread I have to you is a work and school versus weekend morning routine. Obviously, if you are working, you are going to have a different routine when than when you are not working or if you are in school versus if you have a day off from school. So I wanted to reflect that with a workday AM routine and a day off slash weekend AM routine, just because uh, sometimes on the weekend you may like to sleep in. So I have my uh, AM routine here. So I have five through 5.30 and I block off this time because those that's like my critical AM routine where I feed the pets, I let the dogs out, I take my vitamins and uh, medication, I check my email, I flag important emails, etc. Then I have in here, uh, right in my to-do list, doing a Bujo check-in, and I have a few little stickers here and there that I have put together. At 6.30, I typically eat breakfast and or I have a protein bar or something to that effect. And then I have some focus time for work. So I put in from 7 to 9 a.m. where I do where I do focus on work tasks and play some music um, to help me relax. And then at 9 a.m. I have watering the plants and garden. One of the reasons I do this is because it helps me get out of my chair go stretch around um, and I'm lucky enough to work from home. So I get to water the plants when I am working from home. At 9.30, I do a little bit of a stretch. Again, it is really important for me um, having a desk job to be able to get up and about and stretch. Uh, it's good for my mental health, my physical health, everything like that. And then typically from 10 a.m. on, I am attending some sort of work meeting. Versus on the weekend, I am sleeping in a little bit. I wake up at six instead of five. So that's uh, super nice to sleep in. So I have feeding the pets and letting the dogs out, taking vitamins uh, and medication. Then I put a little coffee run here. Usually I am just making coffee at home, but sometimes I will go out if it is a Friday morning. Um, I put in a run here. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. Um, it depends on how the weather is and things like that. And then I'll put walking the dogs. For the weekend, I also like to kind of get my desk together because usually I am doing a lot of work on Sunday. So I'll put clean the desk in this area or run errands. A lot of times my partner and I like to uh, run errands on the weekend. So if I don't need to clean my desk, say it's not Sunday, sometimes I'll run errands on Friday or Saturday. And then I block off a, a two hour period or an hour period um, to work out with my partner. So I just have that in here as well. So having two different columns, depending on workday or day off, I've also done this before for my in-office days versus um, if I am working from home, if I have school that day, if I don't have school that day, there's a lot of different uh, categories of um, routines that you may need to adapt to depending on what the circumstances are for that day. The next one I have is a workday weekly AM routine. I work a 410, so I work Monday through Thursday. So I have my um, immediate tasks first thing in the morning, so 5 a.m. each day. Um, say you have kids and they have a different bus schedule for the different days. Maybe there's a half day because of a teacher work hour or something like that. So I put in different bus stops here and then I put in my standard meeting. So like on Monday, I'll have a weekly meeting at 10 a.m. and I have that every single week on Monday. Um, 
versus a Wednesday where I have like this coffee chat meeting and that's usually every other week. And then I can just kind of fill in from here and put in a to-do list, routines, things like that. And that way I have like the little time blocked off for particular things such as, you know, dropping my kid off at the bus stop. Next up, we have a morning checklist. So this is just a reference list that you might wanna keep at the beginning of your notebook. That way, when you are starting to establish your morning routine, you can revisit the same one. And instead of having this entire checklist on every single daily page, like I do over here, um, you might want to just put AM routine and then mark that off once you've completed the entire checklist. So this is kind of a reference page um, for just being able to write a AM routine on one of your other pages where you are tracking it. So I have a big long list here uh, for different types of morning routine items. And of course, I forgot to say this at the beginning, but your morning routine will look different than my morning routine, right? If you don't have animals, feeding the dogs is not going to be in your morning routine. If you have kids, I don't have kids. If you have kids, then getting them ready to go to school is going to be a big series of checklist items versus for me, it's more of eating my protein bar, making a smoothie, uh, drinking water, things like that. The next step I have here is a daily page. So I have the schedule over here where you could block off time. Say I have a meeting here at 10 a.m. I can put meeting. And up here I can put a.m. routine. And then I can go ahead and reference my AM routine that is over on this right hand side. So I have a little work to-do list, a little home to-do list, these AM routines. I can also create one for a PM routine. I can also mark what I read that day and what my workout was as well. So you kind of get a whole look at what went on in your day just from one page, from your schedule to all your to-do lists to creating these little AM and PM routine sections. Moving on, we have the same thing, but as a weekly routine. So I have my weekly spread over here on the right. And then over on the left, I have a space to do your common tasks. So these are things that happen pretty much every day, or they do happen every day, or in the in your AM routines, um, maybe there is also tasks that you do every day within your AM routine. So I have a section for AM routine, work, home, my business, and PM routine. And then I would just mark off each day. So if it is Tuesday and I have already gotten through half of my checklist, I am just going to simply mark off on Tuesday. Say I haven't uh, had my protein bar yet, I won't check that off yet. But once I've completed my entire morning routine, then this entire section should be complete. And this can help you create those morning routine habits as well, because there is a simple reminder over here. And then you also have your entire week laid out here to the right. Moving on, we have the monthly habits. So I have a section for your AM routine over here, as well as a daily summary. This could also be switched out for other types of ha habits. So you separate out AM routine habits with a line, you put in your workout habits with a line, you put out your PM habits with a line, or you can do what I've done here and have a AM routine section and then space to write a little summary of how that day went. So in this case, I did a closed circle for the habit being completed and an open circle for the habit being incomplete. And the reason why I did this is to be able to tell that your day has been completed and you're, you're, you didn't just miss marking off that task. So putting a little um, open circle instead of a closed circle can notate that the day is complete um, and I didn't just forget to mark it off. 
So that is a little monthly habits and daily summary section. Over here, I have a morning routine section and I wanted to break this up in a different style where I have my priority section over on the left-hand side and then I have other tasks that may be able to be incorporated into my morning routine depending on what kind of day it is. So my priority morning routine items are the ones that I want to do every single day versus these other ones it's when it's best for you. For example, I don't walk my dogs every single morning. Usually I work walk them in the afternoon. However, on Sundays, we like to walk them first thing in the morning. So that's something that I would put as other tasks because it's not always part of my morning routine. Of the same vein, I wanted to differentiate how much time you have for different morning routines. So I have three different times and what types of tasks that you commonly are able to do in a shortened or longer morning routine. So for a 30 minute routine, I have feeding animals, letting dogs in and out, a power shower, so a very quick shower, brushing your teeth, vitamins and meds, and a protein bar, and then you're out the door. Um, you just don't have time for more, and that is typically what you can finish in 30 minutes. Versus a one hour routine where you might have time for a regular shower, you might have time to do a little bit of skincare routine something to that effect. Maybe you have time to um, have a protein smoothie instead of a protein bar. Um, maybe you are able to make coffee to go instead of having to pick it up where you are going. So these are the tasks that you can typically do within that one hour time period. And then I also have a two hour time period. So this is just like, these are the typical amounts of time that I have for an AM routine. And sometimes I have to do a condensed AM routine. Sometimes I'm able to do a full AM routine. So the two hour is one of those, I'm able to do a full AM routine. I'm able to do skincare. I'm able to do my makeup. I can do a protein bar. I can make smoothie and coffee. I can have that at home. I can uh, prepare lunch if I am going out to work, for example. I may have time to do that within that two hour time period. So that is the uh, priorities morning and then the timed routine morning. Next up, we have the class schedule routines. I wanted to make sure that I also included students in here. So I have a section where you can put your different wake up times and then what your class schedule is. And then I also have a space where you can write in your AM routine following that wake up time. So for Monday, I, maybe I'm able to do a full AM routine versus Tuesday where I'm doing a very quick AM routine, attending lab, and then going back to my dorm and I am finishing my AM routine. Um, so maybe I am not checking in with my bullet journal first thing in the morning, but that's still typically part of my AM routine and I'll do that after I completed lab. So there may be some days that you have to adjust when your AM routine is done. This is still in the morning. It's just not first thing in the morning and it's not all put together in one routine. It's broken up into multiple sections of your routine. And then the last one I have here is a habit tracker. So this is the a way that you can look individually to individually to see how that habit is forming. This, These are the habit trackers that I like to do because I like to see it in one, um, one area because I am able to def differentiate and see the trends for my habits when I'm able to see them all together like this. And then I have the banners for AM routine. I have a fitness habit tracker section and then I have a PM routine section. So these three things are involved in my AM routine. If I had six things, I could put six habit trackers instead of just three. So for example, if I am here on Monday, I can mark off that I've completed my vitamins, I drank my water, and now I am brushing my teeth, and therefore that entire AM routine was completed that day. Versus a different day where maybe I did my vitamins, I didn't drink a full glass of water, but I 
brush my teeth. So you can see what types of trends you have when you're able to look at AM routines um, together as habit trackers. And then again, I've done the same thing for fitness and PM routine here. So those are all 10 types of spreads that I think would be really helpful if you are trying to create a morning routine. Uh, I definitely have a blog over for this and a printable for a couple of them. So definitely go check out the blog. I will have that link down below. And thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.